Hey everybody, welcome, it's Rocket from the Rocket Radio Show, and of course, joining me in the studio live is Samantha Stanley. How you doing, Samantha? I'm doing great, Rocket. So, what the heck is the topic today? We've been giggling like crazy. We were talking about weird sex fetishes, right? Yeah. And... No, we weren't. You were. (laughs) (laughs) But go ahead. (laughs) Okay, so I was talking about weird sex fetishes. Yeah. And apparently, it is very common practice for men to put a padlock around their testicles. (laughs) (laughs) Well, you know, you want to be safe. (laughs) Uh, Some kind of chapter. Well, they keep a pair of bolt cutters at the hospital. Right. So just in case, if you're an adventurous guy and you get the <laughs> paddle lock around your nuts and then you can't get it off, because why? Because they don't know where the key is. Because they can't find the key. Now, don't you think that's like the number one most important rule when paddle locking your testicles together that you remember, I'm going to put the key on the nightstand or... I'm going to tie the key on a chain around my wrist or something. Well, I'm not really sure because, you know, I think there's a problem with the way you said that because you're saying bolt them together. They're inside the same sack, so they're together already. What you're doing, though, is you're bolting that little leeway you got between your yeah, nuts no, and your I get body. That. I get that. I mean, you're riding tents like that. That's like a mechanical restriction. Right, but how, then all the more reason why you should remember where you kept the key. <laughs> or the combination. <laughs> <laughs> you know, you like have a friend remember it. Like, listen, if I get in trouble, I'm going to call you. Yeah, that's the call I want to make. So that's not... <laughs> Dude, do you remember the combination of my padlock? Yeah, I think it's like 36, 42, 18. It's like... No, it's not. It's like, okay, maybe that's another one. So that's... That's not even the sickest fucking degenerate pieces of shit on the planet. We got a better one. Oh, crap. Okay, so... So you're going, you know... You got this guy. Yeah. He keeps coming to the hospital <laughs> because his colostomy bag is fouled up. Well, it's come loose. And so, you know, when a colostomy bag comes loose, it's going to leak. So, and wait, before, for the retards in the audience, what's a co- colostomy bag? Well, when you have to have your colon either resected or rerouted, they usually make an exit on the side of your abdomen that looks like an inverted rectum. Yeah, so you shit into a bag. uh, Yeah, on the side of your abdomen, and you attach a bag to it, and gas and stool comes into the bag. Yeah, I knew a guy in nursing (laughs) school. He would just lean forward and drain out. And so this guy... (laughs) This guy, he's like, it's normal. I was like, I don't know, bro. This guy comes into the hospital, and his colostomy opening, his stoma... Yes. Is all fucked up. Well, yes. And why is that, <laughs> Samantha? Well, he calls it his money maker. Oh, I see. So he's using <laughs> his his artificial shithole <laughs> as a prostitution ring. He is soliciting sex <laughs> through his stoma. Yes. Oh my God, <laughs> that is just so wrong on so no, many levels. I mean, first of all, level one. Yes. Yeah. The first way that that is wrong is that there's some guy that's such a scumbag <laughs> that he's willing to make money allowing strange men to put their penis inside of his abdomen through a hole. <laughs> that's the first thing. But even stranger and more perplexing and troubling is that there are men out there that are willing to put their dick into some dude's belly hole <laughs> with shit coming out of it. Well, when you That's put it just that not way, appeal. it that is that, sounds wrong. Now, if you're going to bone directly into an intestine, does, oh, that, wow. does that count as homosexuality? You know, like, the yeah. guy, the guy's married, the guy's married, <laughs> his wife finds out, she's like, you know, you're fucking having an affair with some gay guy, and you're like, no, I'm not, I'm not, I swear to God, I'm not gay. What do you mean? You're like, well, I'm just boning his gut hole. <laughs> <laughs> it's not like I'm touching his ass or anything. It's just the hole. Well, and let's just, let's talk about that. Talk about the being wrong on so many levels. Level number three. The guy still has a rectum. 
Oh, and it's you don't touch a, that. You don't play a, there. <laughs> you can bone me in my gut. You can stick your penis into a into an artificial opening into my intestine. And, where, where crap is coming yeah, out. Yeah, and bone me there, but you're not allowed to touch my tutu. Where your <laughs> tutu? Where, yeah. where liquid stool, foul liquid stool is coming out of. You know, and his butthole is probably sewed up shut. I've seen that surgery before. They just take a needle and thread and just sew your butt shut. Well, then no wonder he's having to be boned through his gut hole. Yeah, there's no hole there. You can rub it. I'm sorry. Have you ever changed a colostomy? Um, yes. Okay. Is it one of those smells that you will never forget? Yeah, somebody out there thinks that smell is sexy. <laughs> and you know what's really funny about that? And we'll be right back. Wait, wait. No, 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 wait. I got to prove this point. Because we've done, like, perverted shows in the past, and we get all these responses. Now, you know what some guys are going to say? They're going to say this. They're going to say this. They're going to say, hey, I'm a normal guy. I have sex with glossomies. So what? <laughs> It's biological. I was born that way. It's genetic. That's always the cop out. <laughs> yeah, I was born gay. I'm not just a sick bastard. Okay. I okay. Let me just let me. Pray. I was born craving sexual intercourse <clears throat> with some dude's abdominal stoma while you know, it's leaking out half digested. You I know. think what we need to clarify is that if someone is unfortunate enough to have to have a colostomy bag for whatever reason, because there's a lot of people who have cancer and things like that. and they I mean, that sucks. That sucks. And I'm sorry for you, but I am glad that you're still functioning, and I'm happy that you're as healthy yeah, as you can Yeah, you can have me. a normal life. However, if you are soliciting some other person to have sex with you through that stoma, I'm going to have to draw a line on, <laughs> gee, I'm sorry for I'm you. good taste. <laughs> So let me get this straight. The guy's dressed up in his hooker outfit. He's out on the street. He's you know, parading around, and you can clearly see the bag dangling. No. And you get these sick bastards that are stoma pe perpetrators, <laughs> and they're like, oh, my God, look at her bag. No, no, no. Wow, no. I bet that's a three and three quarters First stoma. Of all, gross. First of all. And she's like, oh, well, we can get started in just a second, baby. Let me just empty this. Oh. Plop, 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 plop. <laughs> <laughs> and he's like... <laughs> He's like <laughs> Oh god, we I mean, are after you all, growing up? <laughs> it's just so disgusting. <laughs> after all, it takes all kinds. He needs some water. <laughs> as long as it doesn't come out of that hole with gases. Oh my god. Oh god, yeah. Well, I'm yeah. happy that I could share that. I've been saving that one. Yeah, that guy was like, I was the guy I was in class with, and we started talking about colostomy bags, and I was like, uh, you know, of course I make a fool of myself first. I'm like, yeah, those colostomy bags, those are fucking weird. I'd hate to have that. that. <laughs> the guy goes, I have one. <laughs> oh, you do. And he lifts up his shirt. I'm like, dude, I don't need to see it. He's like, no, it's cool. It's clean. I'm like, uh, look, and it's like the opening inside of his guts. Right. They just kind of take your uh, colon and they flip it outside of ah, your abdomen. Disgusting. And, it's, it's, and it's, you know, I know it was my imagination, but I could have swore I saw the top of a turd with some corn in it. <laughs> <laughs> it was bad. I know it's an imagination, but I swear I saw, I saw a locked and loaded turd about to shoot out of that hole. That's not sexy. <laughs> not in any way. <laughs> God. I mean, <laughs> hey, look, for like $50 million, yeah. I would have slept with Michael Jackson. I would have wore a bra <laughs> and a wig and took it in the tutu oh just to get the $50 million. I would have been his bitch all week long. Oh, hi, wow. Michael. Hi, honey. I'd have done anything you want, man. Oh, yep, man. I would have, too. I'd have sucked him like a Slurpee. Oh, God. Well, I would have had 50 grand, and he's dead now. It would have been a distant trauma at this yeah. point. I'd be still, still spending that dough. Okay. But there's no goddamn way I would spend 50 bucks to bone some dude's colostomy over. Opening. That's just disgusting. Oh, so if you're out there and you've experienced something like this before, either the paddle lock around the testicles or the sex with a stoma, 
Or how Please about, send an email to Rocket Radio Show. I think one. there's like I think there's like over 200 different objects that are commonly found inside rectums, like light bulbs, candles, dildos, juice glass. Now do, let's not confuse Apple. dildos from vibrators. <laughs> dildos are solid. Uh, vibrators actually have a battery usually or a cord. Well, wait, 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 wait. Hamsters, wait, wait. if wait you're a Richard Gear. I want to clarify that. Dildos are solid. Yes. Vibrators are also solid. Well, they're they, well, they're not a figment of your imagination. No, no, I mean <laughs> solid. Like uh, they're just a solid. Like they have glass dildos. They're just solid glass. Yeah, that's I, that's a little um, dangerous. Well, you wouldn't want to break it off while you were getting crazy in there. No, that's why. Well, there's. I've seen them made out of wood. Oh. Yeah. God, can you imagine getting a vaginal splinter? No, 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 no. When I say made out of wood, I'm not talking like you go out in the backyard and cut down a switch. I'm not talking about something. No, you're like talking that. about wood, you know, like, like a boner. Like wood. <laughs> like, I've seen people that turn wood, you know, like on a lathe and make beautiful bowls and carving boards and things like that. Dildos. What kind of sick fuck <laughs> makes a dildo on a lathe? <laughs> what, what do you, where do you shop? <laughs> Well, it's like, well, here's an end table, here's an ottoman, <laughs> and here's a massive dildo. Well, now let's be let's be fair about this. <laughs> it's like rubber band power. The only time I ever took shop in school, we did lathe work, right? And my candlestick could have was easily at, passed was as a, as at a one phallic. point in time just a dildo before I started using the cutting tools on it. So I guess you need to sand that with some with some twelve hundred sandpaper. I would sand it pretty darn good. Yeah, or uh, good lube. Um, Murphy's oil soap. <laughs> I don't know. Now you know the ironic thing is there's. <laughs> gonna push the button. The ironic thing is there's probably some sick fuck out there that's banging some dude's colostomy with a wooden dildo. <laughs> you know what I mean? <laughs> Wow. Now, where do you do this? Do you do it? Well, what? I mean, you... I know where this well, they rent. Gen- no, they rent rooms by the hour, you know? No, this was... Uh, oh, wait a minute. He got off the bus. And this is a guy, too, right? He just got off the bus. This is a guy that's having his colostomy hole yes. plugged. Yes. And he just got off the bus. It's cut- is he good looking? Is he sexy? No. No. He's a scumbag. So he's a scumbag. God, can you imagine the dudes that are doing him? They're probably, like, married. They're like the mayor. I'd rather... <laughs> you know? I'd rather 